Hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we will learn EMM and ECM states. EMM refers to EPS Mobility Management and ECM refers to EPS Connection Management. EMM state of the UE describes the state of the UE if it is registered to the network or not registered to the network. While the ECM state of the UE describes the state of the UE if it is connected to the network or not connected to the network. The state of every UE is stored in the MM context of this UE that exists on the MME and on the UE context that exists on the UE. First let's discuss EMM states. The EMM state of every UE can be one of two states EMM registered and EMM deregistered. In EMM registered state, the UE is attached to the network and the MME knows about the location of the UE, at least, the MME knows, the UE exists, under which list of tracking areas. The UE, enters to EMM registered state, when it makes attach procedure, or when the UE, makes tracking area update procedure, while moving from 2G or 3G cell, to LTE cell. While in EMM deregistered state, the UE is not attached to the network, and the network does not know any information, about the existence of the UE. The UE moves to EMM deregistered state when it makes detach procedure or if the attach procedure or the tracking area procedure is rejected from the network. Now, let's learn what is ECM states. ECM state can be one of two states, ECM connected or ECM idle. First let's learn what is ECM connected state. The signaling connection in the control plane between the MME and the UE is called the NAS signaling connection and it is composed of the S1 connection between the E node B and the MME in addition to the RRC connection between the UE and the E node B. If the NAS signaling connection between the UE and the MME which is composed of the RRC connection and the S1 connection is established the UE will move to ECM connected state. In ECM connected state the NAS signaling connection is established between the UE and the MME, so that the packets can be sent and received normally between the UE and the MME. In addition, in ECM connected state, the MME knows the location of the UE to the most accurate level, which is the cell level. Now let's learn ECM idle state. If the NAS signaling connection between the UE and the MME, which is composed of the S1 connection and the RRC connection, is not established or broken, the UE will move to ECM idle state. The NAS signaling connection may be released due to many reasons. As example, the E node B or the MME may release the S1 signaling connection in order to save network resources in case that the UE is having no activity for a long period of time. Because in ECM idle state, the NAS signaling connection is not established. There is no packets can be sent or received between the UE and the MME. In addition, the MME knows the location of the UE only to the level of list of tracking areas. This means the MME knows the UE exists in which list of tracking areas. But the MME does not know the UE exists in which cell under this list of tracking areas. In summary, EMM state describes if the UE is attached to the network or not attached to the network. And it can be EMM registered where the UE is attached to the network or EMM deregistered, where the UE is not attached, to the network. While ECM state, describes if the UE, is connected to the network, or not connected to the network. And it can be ECM connected, where the NAS signaling connection, is established. Or ECM idle, where the NAS signaling connection, is not established. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you, and see you in the next lesson.